Some local cancer patients are in danger of delaying treatment because of a shortage of a chemotherapy drug. Uh, news team's uh, ABC's James De La Fuente telling us what could be behind the shortage, what patients can do to make sure they're not skipping their meds. Not good. I'm not happy about it. Susan Dyson, who is battling a recurring cervical cancer and gets the same chemo treatment for months, has learned yesterday that she needs to look elsewhere. I was kind of in shock. I, I just kept asking how it could be possible that this happened and, you know, it, I just couldn't believe it. The FDA recently added four cancer drugs to their list of drugs in short supply, including Dyson's. It worked the last time. Unfortunately, it, this is the type of cancer that just keeps coming back. So I, I'd like to stay with the same regiment. Assemblyman and local pharmacist John McDonald says the government is cracking down on drug manufacturers not following regulations. And the FDA is now much more aggressive in, in, in monitoring these facilities and to the point where they shut them down. And when they shut them down, that may be the only supplier. It might take a couple of months, but it'll take a couple of months for all the existing supply out in the chain, in the supply chain to eventually exhaust itself. Dyson receives her care with Berkshire Health Systems. We've reached out to them, but no one was available to go on camera, but they sent us the following statement. Berkshire Health Systems is working closely with gynecological cancer patients to ensure proper therapy based on each individual's care needs. McDonald says there are a few things patients can do if they find their drug supply has run dry. There are options, and providers usually choose the option based on it could be more effective. Also, which one has less side effects? In other words, what's going to enhance patient performance and compliance? And that's how we look for positive outcomes. The FDA website does confirm the shortage, yet it fails to thoroughly identify the reason. We contacted the FDA and they sent us the following statement. While companies are required to notify the FDA of supply disruptions, there is not currently a law that requires companies to notify the agency of increased demand. The FDA continues to encourage companies to notify the agency when there is a spike in demand so they can work with them early on to mitigate or prevent any impacts on availability. Reporting in the Capital Region, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.